Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this quick tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how you can create this kind of molding, uh, high poly molding for your architectural design. So let's get started. I am going to be using uh, this kind of reference image that I found on the web. Uh, you can look it up and uh, I set it up as a reference image and how you can do that you can look up in my previous tutorial so I then just go to left view and under create and shapes I just select a line I'm just going to be using straight lines for this tutorial because uh, it's going to be easier to weld the vertices together later on as we will going as we are going to see uh, which doesn't take uh, as much time as if we would do some bands and then create a bunch of vertices that uh, uh, we don't really want in this tutorial. So when we complete the circle, it asks us if we want if we want to close the spline, and we just select yes. And we are going to hide the, this uh, reference image and we are going to right click, select it, right click and convert it to editable poly. And we are going to go to modifier list, click on it and type in shell. And then just collapse it by right clicking on it and collapse to and then again right clicking on it and convert it to add to poly. Now in the front view we're going to make it a little bit wider and we are going to realign the pivot point because it is uh, really important how we, where the pivot point is. So we are going to use a snap toggle and if we right click on it we should have grid points and vertex selected and we are just going to align it to this point. So this is pretty much it. And we are going to duplicate it to create the corner. We are going to shut off the snap tool uh, by pressing S on the keyboard and holding shift and click and drag to make a duplicate copy of it. In the front view I'm going to make it a little bit narrower uh, and then I'm going to pressing R on the keyboard no not R E on the keyboard sorry or pressing this rotate uh, select and, ro and rotate tool and we are going to hold shift and click and rotate it by 90 degrees but before we can do that we're going to make sure we have angle snap tool on by pressing here or pressing A on the keyboard and again shift click and drag and we can see it will rotate exactly in 90 degrees and we're going to realign this one here we can see our pivot point is coming uh, really handy because when we move it we just align it perfectly. So then we select one, attach and select the other one and then just pressing 4 on the keyboard to make the polygon selection and then just select these two polygons and delete them. Pressing 1 on the keyboard to select vertex selection and select these four vertices that look like two but they are in reality four so we are going to weld them together so they are two and here now comes the tedious work. We are going to have to weld these all these vertices with all these vertices and then realign them with so they are uh, positioned correctly. So this is going to take some time so if you don't want to uh, watch how I create this you can jump uh, ahead. So I just selected here uh, settings on weld and I'm going to increase it until they snap together 
and then just play, uh, press apply and then select the other two the other two oops I made a mistake here uh, so you can see how it easy can uh, get really uh, confusing if you have a lot of uh, vertices especially if you create uh, a curve here we have only straight lines and we uh, already have a bunch of vertices uh, that really makes this uh, kind of modeling really time consuming so this is it and now if we go to the top view you can see we don't have really have uh, a nice uh, a nice edge so we have to realign all these vertices and we're going to select first one and make sure we have snap tool on and we're just going to move it and align it to these two points and you have to make uh, exactly the same uh, for all the other ones so this is again really time consuming if you have uh, really a large amount of uh, vertices but uh, the end result is uh, really exact so this is what we are looking for this kind of high poly uh, molding is really uh, really um, usable only for uh, close-up uh, renders so if you create a mold and then just look it from afar it's uh, really easier to create a low poly one and make a texture of it and create it that way so this is pretty much it for creating a corner now I'm going to uh, delete these polygons because I'm not going to see them anyway uh, in my model and here I'm also going to delete these two uh, now I'm going to realign this this one with this point and voila we have our high poly molding uh, created now you can duplicate this uh, make a instance of it and after you applied some some texture map to it you can really uh, easily create uh, a, a molding all around your uh, wall for example I'm just messing around with this and here you can see how easily it was to create one side of high poly molding. So, subscribe to my channel and check out the rest of the videos. Share this video and till next time. Bye.